So I, I need to sacrifice myself because I know when I, I go interview Putin, I know everybody in the United States and not only will turn against me. And this is what happened. European Union are trying to find some ways to sanction an American citizen just because he went to interview a man who never has been declared a war criminal. Hey, hey everybody, Marcel Ernie Racy News. Romeo with Romania is joining me on the call. Um, Romeo, we're going to talk about Tucker Carlson interviewing Vladimir Putin and how big this event is. What are your thoughts? Listen, everything that should have been said, have been said. I mean, look at the Clayton Morris and his wife, Natalie. I mean, redacted podcast. Look at Megyn Kelly. Yeah. Look at um, everyone involved in the uh, media in United States, Canada, all wide. And they already said anything should have seen. I mean, there is no need for a guy uh, from Romania, Romeo from Romania, to, to say anything uh, more about this. Everybody is anxiously waiting for this interview because let's face it, people, let's face it. After the 9-11, the um, so-called, the, the planned, the planned demolish, demolishing uh, uh, the Twin Towers, because that was it, uh, they planned it in order to get the more control for the worldwide, uh, worldwide. and uh, this is the next moment that uh, focused the entire planet attention to uh, a certain thing, to a certain event. I mean, Tucker Carlson interviewing Putin. And you might say, but Romeo, it, it, was, it was pandemic. It was pandemic, first of all, yes. And uh, pandemic was um, uh, a running event, a developing event. So we somehow, at the end of it, we somehow we got used to it. We, it looked like we haven't been so outraged about uh, this. Uh, I'm avoiding that uh, word. I'm avoiding that word. So um, uh, then the, it started uh, that thing uh, between Russia and Ukraine, and people uh, got outraged at the uh, at the beginning, and then they started to be somehow uh, cleared about what happens uh, over there. And now we have this event, and obviously uh, it um, the planet is in fire. And uh, the question is, why the planet is in fire now? Is in fire because mainstream media is in fire because the Carson T Tucker, as an individual, not a not a media trust, decided to do this interview. Not necessarily. The planet is in fire because there are guys like us, like me, like Marcel Ernie, like Megyn Kelly, like a lot of. Uh, uh, people around the world, even in Japan, in Germany, in uh, Australia, in, in South Latin America, in South Africa, everybody is waiting for this interview. Uh, and the reasons I not list, uh, li uh, I don't want to list uh, them because they already have been mentioned by the other guys wiser than me. What I'm trying to emphasize now. It might be very shocking for some people, for some of your viewers. Listen, when I was 23 in 1989, uh, when the so-called uh, Romanian Revolution came up and uh, that uh, dictator Ceausescu has been shot, uh, executed, before this, I was there and I, I could have noticed that the communists worked like that. Yes, you are journalists. But you do whatever you do, but uh, we say, we tell you what to do. So if you want to go out and interview someone uh, uh, we don't like, you don't do it. So uh, this is the omerta, the, the mafia uh, silence. Uh, we, you do whatever we tell you to do. If you do, <laughs> if you do the opposite, somehow we will consider you an enemy. But this happened before 
this happened before 1999 in a, in a very communist country that was Romania. <coughs> what happens now in uh, the, that country pretending they are promoting the freedom, the freedom of speech, the freedom of choice, I mean, United States. <coughs> they are gathering, they are, um, I mean, unifying, saying Tucker Carlson is a traitor. Why is Tucker Carlson a traitor? Because he's, he's not doing what uh, the rest of us are doing. What are the rest of us doing? We are bullshitting the American and Canadian population with our mainstream media fake news. So this guy, uh, I, <laughs> I heard the one of them saying uh, he's not a journalist anymore. anymore. Why is he not? Yes, why is he not a journalist anymore? Because he is not enrolled in CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, ABC, and I don't know. No, he's a journalist, period. He's a journalist. Nobody could ever um, suspend the quality of, uh, as a journalist for Tucker Carlson or for anyone else. But my question this uh, average guy from Romania, Roman from, from Romania, is now questioning the guys from uh, and, uh, CNN and the others. Hey, guys, uh, if you want to consider Tucker Carlson not being a journalist because he's not part of your fake world, do you realize you'll be the next? Do you realize that in the very moment you'll decide to be independent as journalists, you'll be uh, labeled like being the enemy of the American society. Yes, you are the next. So the only choice we have is to stay and to swallow that frog, that greasy frog they are pushing on your throats, only to stay on the screen and your relatives and your friends saying, I saw you last night on the news. Really? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Where is the truth? So I would mention this. You had uh, th those psychopaths uh, killing people in the United States. Uh, help, me, help me here, Marcel. Yeah, like Charles, Charles you, yeah, you got your Charles Manson and all of the ones that are mass murderers, psychopaths in jail, and then they interview, they're being interviewed to gather information about why they do what they do. And, why, and so you can learn to pre prevent future. Yeah, and they, they interviewed Fidel Castro, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Uh, previous dictators. Um, yeah. <laughs> and they interviewed uh, another, other in dictators from uh, Af uh, Northern Africa. And uh, I don't know, in Libya, and I don't know. They interviewed, and nobody said, this uh, journalist is uh, out of his mind. He is a traitor because he is interviewing dictators. And we are that country... Uh, promoting the freedom um, oppo in opposition to those dictators. Yeah, I, I guess no, you would no, say. No. I guess you would say they only interview these dictators when it fits their military-industrial complex, like when it fits the narrative that they're trying to push to have more war, more perpetual war, forever. The problem is that the problem is that we are now, while we are speaking, we are right before the the. The famous interview. So we don't know if uh, Vladimir Putin will disclose to Tucker Carlson information about the war machine you said about the army industry. So we don't know. So the problem is that why would you cancel uh, uh, an interview with Vladimir Putin or, or with another guy on the planet just because you, I don't know. Why would you do this? Uh, let let people to see what uh, this guy has to say. I mean, Vladimir Putin, and then let just imagine the dirt. They're afraid that he's going to bring the light. Like you know, you and I, we pay attention to a lot of stuff, but imagine the things that we don't know. And then he could talk about you know, and has proof. Because he has got investigators, tons of investigating money, you know, not just like Nord Stream pipeline, but like little things about the Biden and the Trudeaus and the Macrons and the Australia, 
these he he could just throw dirt out and it's in the public domain. Listen, if you if your viewers and you will go to an article written in New York Times uh, yesterday or the, the day before yesterday, there are three guys uh, writing this uh, article. I'm not um, I'm not uh, diving in the whole article, but there is a paragraph over there saying that. Uh, by uh, helping Vladimir Putin to um, through this interview, uh, Vladimir Putin, we have the opportunity to reach the um, um, the, uh, the Americans who have uh, positive feelings about him. So what? <laughs> so what? I mean, they have positive feelings about Vladimir Putin anyway, with or without this interview organized by Tucker Carson. Yeah, but people who are searching I, I for the, anyone. Why? Why is this so dangerous to, to, to let a, a human being on a planet to be uh, followed, I mean, to to have to to be seen with his opinions by his uh, by the American people uh, having uh, positive feelings about him. I mean, where is the freedom here? I'm coming from a former communist country. That's the problem. What What will be really interesting is to see how mainstream media what they're going to show of it because they're going to be forced to talk about it because there's going to be so much coverage of people talking about it that the, they're going to because the yeah they're going to have to talk about it so they're going to grab little segments and we'll see what they do and we know mainstream media is really i since november i've seen it since november they've been kind of doing poking their you know trudeau and they've been poking biden more because i i feel like they know it's coming that they're going to lose all their funding from their Democrat dictators. So I th they're starting to turn and do like pieces that make fun of these leaders. And so we'll see what they do. Yes, we know what they are going to do. They are going to um, cut out of the context some of the declarations and they will put it on the screen and they will repeat it endlessly. So... Uh -huh. Hoping, hoping that some people didn't have time to follow the entire interview on uh, X or I don't know, and uh, they will manipulate them. So this is what they know to do. This is what they do. This is their job. Our job is to prevent this. Our job is to say, pay attention to the truth, not to the manipulation. But again, again. I, I'm a, probably I will tire people saying that again. I'm in a in a communism uh, um, um, system. They said the press is ours, and uh, you do whatever we tell you to do. So if you go and do something else we uh, told you to do, you are a traitor. But this is in communism. So if you do this as uh, Tucker Carlson and um, you do your own interview as an independent journalist and you are declared a traitor in the United States by this uh, politician or this uh, media uh, channel uh, or I don't know, probably United States uh, philosophers uh, and the intellectuals and uh, <laughs> I'm not expecting politicians to think about that. But they should think if uh, United States is not practicing a new communism um, covered by the um, uh, sort of signs of capitalism. That's the danger. Today is Carson Tucker. Tomorrow will be another one. Don't forget, don't forget Julian Assange. I mean, at least Tucker Carlson is a free. He is free. He's free to go there and do this. But Julian Assange is, is in jail, for Christ's sake. For for something very similar, um, just a whistleblower. You know, whistleblowers telling report. Like he's a reporter, and he reported on something, 
and uh, he's locked up. So um, Tucker is actually safe in Russia. He's safer in Russia right now than he is back in the United States. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah, it is crazy. He could be picked. Biden could send the FBI saying he's a terrorist because he's doing an interview, and this is exactly what happened with Julian Assange, who who essentially showed the the type of genocide that the USA was doing. You know. And uh, listen, I I was watching, I was monitoring this uh, yesterday. Eu- yesterday, European Union decided um, somehow to sanction to sanction Tucker Carlson because he's aiding, he's helping a war criminal. But I searched, I have searched my mind, I have searched this mind to find out if I ever found out there is a, at least one institution on earth deciding that Vladimir Putin is a war criminal. No institution did, did this. And um, they are treating him, I mean, Vladimir Putin, they are treating him as a war criminal, not as a, a president, a leader of a very, 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 very important country in the econo- econo- economy of the world. And if you start with this, of course, you cut off all the bridges, all the bridges of the dialogue with the Eastern Bloc. Because let's say Eastern Bloc, Okay, Romania is part of of the NATO now and is a, a pro-American 100% country. I live here. I am devastated about it and uh, very unpleasant. But listen, the Eastern Bloc is um, Russia with uh, uh, with uh, Kyrgyzstan, uh, Tajikistan, uh, everything uh, uh, ending with Stan and uh, things like this. So. Uh, there is, if you look at the the Earth map, there is a huge, huge spot uh, called Eastern Bloc. So, if you want to have a dialogue with the other world, you don't call Vladimir Putin a war criminal. You treat him, you treat him as a president of a very powerful country. So, if you don't do this, you have Tucker Carson. The thinnest wire, the thinnest wire be- between Western and the Eastern blocks, and this uh, thin wire is so fragile, and this man sacrificed everything he um, appreciated in his life. I mean, career, peace, uh, peace uh, for his family, raising children, ch- children, and things like this. And he said, you know, they thrown me out from. Uh, Fox News. Okay, I became an independent and, and uh, Elon Musk helped me on X and uh, I do this. Uh, but something's wrong here. I, I could not stay calm. I, this is not the truth. This is uh, another peaceful living. So I, I need to sacrifice myself because I know when I, I go interviewing Putin, I know everybody in the United States and not only will turn against me. And this is what happened. European Union are trying to find some ways to sanction an American citizen just because he went to interview a man who never has been declared a war criminal. Certainly not found guilty. That's right. Um, Well, yeah, lots to think about. So we got the interview coming up here in uh, less than two hours, guys. So... uh, Thanks for your words, um, Romeo. And um, yeah, we got this is a serious moment in history where we finally yeah. get to see the other side to the, the the other side of the military industrial complex war machine, the defender against the war machine. You know, so uh, a special military operation which was forced to turn into uh, a giant war. Uh, if they smash the individual Carson Tucker, we are facing now a huge moment of the humanity because the justice and the truth is broken. So 
if they create if they create a precedent with Tucker Carson smashing him, we are heading to a very, very dangerous times for every individual, for Marcel Ernie Romeo from Romania and any viewer looking at you right now. You got to think uh, when Tucker flies home, how the hell is he going to get back to the States? I sure hope his plane makes it. You know, you got to think there's a little worry that it will be shot down because this has happened before. People have done this before. It, it is not worth it for the puppeteers to, to kill him this way because they will transform him in a, in a martyr. So... Uh, generally, they they wait another moment, probably a few years, and probably they will do it if they want to do it, but not now, because Tucker Carlson dead is more powerful than a Tucker Carlson alive. It would it would it could it would schedule a revolution in the streets. Yeah, probably, probably yes, and this is the last thing they want. No, they like to, they're like mosquitoes with the West Nile virus. They're going to just try to bite you until eventually you die. <laughs> and nobody yeah. really knows what killed you then, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Romeo. I hope the audio turned out. Um, I hope we didn't do this interview for nothing. This is Ernie Racing, Romeo from Romania. And right now it's 1.19 p.m. on uh, February 8th, 2024. Remember this day. All the best. Cheers. Bye.